Guys, welcome to the Elk Shape Gear channel. This is our secondary channel dedicated to gear that we've vetted or we're just getting our hands on. Overviews, reviews, honest feedback. Making gear purchases is part of the deal and you wanna make educated decisions. Lean on us for what we've experienced and we'll shoot you straight today. We're gonna to go through Kufaru. I ordered some things for the squad and myself. I'm gonna break those down today. I've ran multiple backpacks. I've ran Badlands, Eberly Stock, Mystery Ranch, XO, and I've been running Kufaru for the last three seasons. I'm not looking back. They make the best frame on the market, period. And we're gonna go over, speaking of frames, the tactical frame. I've been running the duplex light, which is much more skeletonized, good for August, September, but the tactical has a little more oomph to it. And if you, I don't, I'm not a very sweaty person, so I'm probably gonna run it in those early seasons as well as late. I also got a new bag, it's the Hoodlum. It's what Jake runs, I run, Tim runs. The whole squad runs it. I'm gonna go over this today. So your Hoodlum, this is like the bottom of the bag, but it's pulled up. So what that means is this thing can really expand. So if you need an expedition backpack or a day pack, if you're running a day pack, it's gonna look like this as it's came. And the cubic inches we'll put below here, as well as all the specs, we'll put it over the top. I'm on the top here, you can run the guide lid, and that's probably what I'm gonna do, which is why I ordered it. They make two guide lids. This is the big dog. So when you go onto Kufaro's website, you'll be able to look at uh, a couple different guide lid options. This is the bigger one, and it's nice because you have this compartment here on top and then you have individual small side pouches that are sewn so they're separated and you can kind of get your system that you think is gonna serve you well. From here, you're gonna to wanna to run it on the top and then you will replace putting these in the top of the lid to now here. So it'll run like this. I like this because you can really run your bow securely over. So generally speaking, you'd wanna go quiver probably up easily, put your bow right here. If you're hiking a long ways in, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of putting my bow on my backpack, but when I ride an e-bike, a dirt bike, a four wheeler, or I'm hiking in double trekkers, it's nice to have it up here. Or if you actually kill something and you want to have double trekkers meet. And that's the main thing about this hoodlum is you can really pack out a lot of meat. I've packed out an entire elk between me and Jake in one trip each. Don't recommend that necessarily, but uh, you can do it. And we're gonna go through and break this pack down now. Now, when you're looking at frames, you're gonna have, I believe you're gonna have a 22, 24, and a 26 option. And then they have really useful things on the Kufara website as far as, hey, if your waist size is this, or if your height is this, they're gonna actually make you put those in their website. We have a discount code with Kufaru, finally. It is Elk Shape 15. All one word, Elk Shape 15 will get you 15% off your Kufaru purchases, except for shelters. You have these Molly options. I generally will run a large or a medium or a large, large or a medium, medium on the bag itself and get into this side zipper, which seems to hold spotting scopes really well and or tripods or trekking poles broken down. So right here, and then there's going to be an equal opposite side that does the exact same thing. So I end up, depending on if I'm day hunting, I'll just keep probably a tripod on one side and a trekking pole on the other, and I can put miscellaneous stuff. Now, if I'm backpacking in, I'm cramming like extra, a couple extra pairs of socks, underwear, um, whatever you need. But the bag itself is really nice inside. It's just generally pretty big, and your access is here on the top and on the side here. So you can get into your main compartment here. Also on the other side, you can get into your main compartment depending on whatever you know what side of the mountain you're facing your pack. Bottom line is you can get into this bad boy. So it's very simple by design, which I appreciate. Can you see how this is not skeletonized? You got extra padding, lumbar pad. This is fantastic. This is much different than the duplex light. So if you are shaving ounces, you're gonna wanna go with a duplex light frame. This is the tactical frame. This is more built for comfort and performance together. And so I'm really excited to vet this. Now I've ran the duplex light frame for several years now, 
but I think the older I get, I really want to have this set up. So for me, I'm going to recommend the tactical, especially if you want just the Cadillac frame of all. Maybe it's a little heavier, maybe you'll sweat a little bit more, but ultimately you're, it's going to fit really well and be comfortable. And if you're comfortable, you're going to be able to hunt better. Generally speaking, the belt sizes are really, I mean, they've done a lot of videos on how to order the right sizes, guys, but for me, I'm 5'7", 160 pounds, lean and mean. I'm gonna run a small belt and a medium sized straps. Uh, depending on how barrel chested you are, just contact their customer service before you pull the trigger. On my right side will be my Nalgene. On my left side will be my pocket, so let's set that up. Here is the Nalgene 2.0. I like it because it's got this little bungee in here that you can cinch it down so your Nalgene doesn't come loose. And then you can use your Molly right here. So we're just going to slide this down. Okay, we're set. So the Nalgene's on the right. Probably do a small pocket right here for like a headlamp or, or maybe your Garmin Mini. Speaking of hydration systems, a lot of people don't like Nalgene's. They want to run a hydration system or a bladder. This has all the ports for you to run a bladder so that you can have your hose coming out the line. You can choose which side the hose comes out. Obviously, that's pretty basic stuff with most backpacks today. So you can run any size that you want over here. This is a large pouch. This is gonna, I'm gonna run this on the back. So let's go ahead and throw this on the side here. This will take me a second. Editors fast forward this in here. Maybe you have a snack. I like to keep an extra headlamp in here. Maybe your um, Garmin inReach or your mini or your cell phone, what have you. We're gonna flip this bad boy over. Really like that tactical frame. I think that's what I'm gonna recommend everybody get. Now you gotta make a decision. Do you want this large up top or do you want here? I'm gonna elect to go a little higher because I'll probably keep my snacks, my day food in here. And then who knows what I'll keep in here. I'm trying to remember what I usually do. So we're gonna set this up. Okay, we'll put the large pouch here. You have your four squares. I keep calling it a pouch. It might be called pocket. All these packs are made in Wyoming, in America. Sewn, stitched, sourced. So it's pretty cool that you're supporting um, this company too. And you know, because it's made in America, that's not gonna be cheap, but it will last. It'll be a good investment. I don't think you can break these things. While we're talking about packs, if you're uh, fortunate enough to get your pack bloody, pack out an animal or several, the best way to clean these things, believe it or not, is I usually get a big tote filled up with water, soap, and the water's gotta be cold. And I'll just put it in there and let it soak overnight. And then I'll rinse it off with cold water um, thoroughly. And you won't have that stink or anything. And it just comes clean. So plan on doing a soak or whatever. If you need to scrub it a little bit with maybe a, a light brush, that's fine. So there is our hoodlum. And then you can adjust all these strap lengths to your liking. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and cinch this top part up, draw a string down, fold it over the top. We'll probably take these receiver ends off or leave them, that's fine. And then we're gonna put on our guide lid. We'll start by getting it secured. And again, with the hoodlum, you can pull it over pretty tight to compress it. So this pack is so versatile for day hunting or expedition hunting, which is why I like it. And at the end of the day, it is easy to pack animals off. And you can pull the frame off, like you can pull the bag away from the frame and there is a load shelf back here. I'm not gonna show you guys that. I literally did it one time and it was like, this is taking too long and it's unnecessary. A lot of times when we kill stuff, we'll pull everything out of the main compartment, put in all the pockets and side pouches, leave the main compartment empty and then just put the entire leg, quarter or rear and front in the back and put everything, like I said, in all the other pockets, cinch it down, good to go. And it fits way more securely. I, that's how I do it. That's how Snyder does it. That's how I recommend you do it. Okay. The hoodlum all set up for you to go day hunts, to do expedition, three, five day. Again, I go Nalgene on the right, a smaller medium pocket on the other side of the hip belt. This is the tactical frame. You can pull the bag off. There is a load shelf. I don't recommend that. You can run a bladder system as well. Giant side pocket for spotters, tripods, as well as trekkers that fold up really nicely. 
You don't have to get the guide lid. There's another guide lid option, but this is the bigger one, which gives you rooms and you can take the guide lid off if you don't want to run it at all. And you can just run the pack normal, which is why I left those two female ends on the pack inside. If I take this off, I can still cinch everything up nice and tight. Matching, big pocket on the other side, access both sides to the main compartment. And when you kill something, y'all, take everything out of the middle of your bag, put it in all your pockets, and throw the quarters in there. You can run whatever size pockets you want on the back here. I ran a large for all my snacks. This will be filled up with all my food for the day. Miscellaneous stuff here, probably an extra headlamp. Kill kit will be in the bottom, an extra Nalgene or two in, in the mainframe, layers of clothing, things like that. Everything comes out when you kill. Great pack, probably my favorite. I'm just upgraded to the tactical frame. I consider it an upgrade. It's got a lot more padding and I'm super stoked about it.